me! Show yourself! I am here, boneless Ragnarsson. How is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son! You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert! Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you! I see a spent old man playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rotary, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. Get the cart, boys! Let's we will go. light it up in front of the gates! Ivar the Boneless. Huh. You make a pitiful dragon. 
I felled the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? The man is dying. Come away. Let the Nornia spin his fate. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come. All right, let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rodri. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die. No, no, no. He must die with style. <laughs> How are you doing, dear king? Stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish me. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak, but as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Here we are. Bring him close. up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal 
The Blood Eagle. Ivar, is this... The birth of a Blood Eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. <laughs> of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He's doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. <laughs> The fog between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of mercy, I can see him now. I've seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death, you and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell! You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick fucking backrot! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face, the friends one must betray, to achieve one's destiny and become King Killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! Let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Go again! Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon.
Eivor! Give it here! To Helheim with you. Eivor! Carry the body to Quartford. We'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Abba. Tell him... ...his brother is dead. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop... ...Abba. Dead... ...at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace? I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died defending a grievous lie. I cannot say that he's dying well. Ivar... ...I spent my whole life repairing the damage he inflicted. Still... ...he was my brother. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery. ...and that Eivor has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheowulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this Shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally... ...and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor. Wherever you may lead. sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. 